This morning, I'm going to read you a story about dinosaurs. It's beach day. Wow, they're going to the beach. So meet the dinosaurs. So they're dinosaurs. They're four years old and they're going to the beach. But Tara is afraid of the water. Join the dinosaurs as they learn how to overcome the fear of trying something new. Dinosaurs, it's beach day. Okay, it was a hot June morning. Mrs. D gathered the children on the rug. What day is it today? She asked. Beach day, everyone shouted. We're going to Dino Beach, Joshua called out. To swim in the ocean, added Daniel. Yes said Mrs. D. You'll be able to go in the ocean, but only up to your knees. That's where the waves won't be too high or too rough. Tara will be the first one in, said Albert. She's not afraid of the waves. She's brave. The other children nodded. I'm not always brave, Tara thought. Okay, said Mrs. D, looking out the window. The bus is here. Mrs. D turned to the parents and babysitters in the classroom. I'm so glad you could join us on our trip, she said. Mrs. D reviewed the safety rules. Then she asked the children to get their lunches and towels and line up and line up at the door. I'm first, said Brendan. So what? said Tracy. I'm second, and second is better than first. No, it isn't. Yes, it is. Okay, said Mrs. D. Let's go. The bus driver is waiting. The grown-ups helped the children get on the bus and buckle their seatbelts. When they were settled, the driver started the engine. Shall we sing a song? asked Mrs. D from the front seat. Tara didn't feel like singing. She looked out the window and thought about the beach. This would be her first time in the ocean. I'm not going in the water if I don't want to, she said to herself. That's her. Everyone sang the wheels on the bus as the bus rolled along. All of the children had such a good time singing, except Tara. Here she is. She is worried. Finally, the bus reached Dino Beach. Mrs. D stood up and turned around. Here's what we're going to do, she said. First, we'll find a good place to put our towels. Then, we'll go into water. The children cheered, except Tara. Wow, how pretty. They all walked off the bus. Tara stared at the ocean. It was even it was even bigger than she thought it would be. Then she sang a song. I won't go in the water, I won't go in at all. The ocean is so big, 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 and I feel very small. Oh, she feels very small. She's really scared. Okay, so when they found a good spot, the parents and babysitters helped the children spread out their towels. Mrs. D put down cones to mark off their space. You must stay inside the cones, Mrs. D said to the children. That's a very important rule. Do you understand? The children all said, yes. It's time to go in the water, said Mrs. D. Remember, only up to your knees. Now, is there anyone who doesn't want to go in? Tara raised her hand. The other dinosaurs were very surprised. Okay, Tara, said Mrs. D. Here is a pail and shovel for you to play with. Daniel's mother will stay with you.
Tara watched the children happily run into the ocean. Some jumped over the waves. Others raced in and out of the water. Tara wanted to join them, but she was still afraid. See? Is everything okay, Tara? Daniel's mother asked. Yes, said Tara in a low voice. I just don't want to go in. Tara wished she wasn't afraid of the ocean. Then she began to think about times when she had acted bravely. I remember climbing to the top of the climber when the other children wouldn't, she thought. I remember holding the lizard that the pet store owner brought to school. And the other kids didn't want to touch it. Tara began to smile. And I remember going down the high slide by myself for the very first time. Tara stood up. I am brave, she said out loud. Just then, Mrs. D walked over. Tara, she said, everyone is having such a good time in the ocean. Are you sure you don't want to join them? I do, Mrs. D. Tara said in a strong voice. That's great, Mrs. D said. Do you want to hold my hand? Okay, replied Tara. Tara slowly edged toward the water. As the first wave reached her, she took a few steps back. When the next wave came, she let it wash over her feet. It feels cold. But good, Tara thought as she dropped Mrs. D's hand. With each wave, Tara went out a little farther. At one point, she stopped and thought about turning back. I can do it, Tara told herself. She began walking again. Finally, she was right next to Joshua. We're playing a great game, Joshua said to Tara. When the wave comes, we jump and say, go away. Tara joined in. Soon, she was laughing and jumping way up high. After a while, it was time to leave the water and eat lunch. As Tara toweled herself dry, she sang a new song. I love the beach, I love the beach, the waves, the sand, the sun. Can we come back tomorrow? The beach is so much fun. The end. <laughs> Friends, I hope you enjoy the story. Going to the beach is always fun, but always remember to be safe. Make sure when you go swimming, swim with an adult. Bye. Have a great day.